I travel a decent amount. Oftentimes it's a family trip or a work trip, or in this case, I'm in Heber, Utah. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends over at Fieldcraft Survival, Mike Glover in particular. But when I'm traveling, I'm always hurt for space. You know, you've got clothes, assorted camera gear, electronics, and then usually something for radio, antennas, and obviously I've got the 705 here. So often I can't carry like a solar panel, although I have, or you know, a bio NO battery. I'm trying to leverage the things that I already have on me. Now, if I was going to go like fully sustainable, radio sustainable, I would definitely have a solar panel or a PowerFilm Solar Lightsaver Max kind of thing so I could run a QRP radio. In this case, though, since I am only going to be out here for a day, just, you know, quick trip, I want obviously the radio charged with its battery, but I want to have an additional source just in case. And so that's what we're talking about today. We're going to be talking about how to power your radio with a little device like this. This is a up converter and I'm going to explain it right now. So a buck converter or an up converter in this case is an incredibly cheap device. Here's my little dongle with a power pulse connector on it. So an up converter is just a simple circuit that takes some kind of voltage and can step it up to some other voltage. In this case, this one in particular has a USB micro connection. I couldn't find one with USB-C. I don't think they exist yet. Editor Josh coming at you from the future of that Josh's past, but still your past. I've learned uh, some new information regarding some of these chargers that are out there. Uh, everything that I'm going to talk about about the buck converter is still going to be valid, particularly how to build one. Uh, nothing in that has changed, but there are some other options particularly in the area of USB-C PD, which is power delivery. It's a standard that is in some matter of completeness for USB-C, which allows you to deliver power to your devices uh, in a fast manner. They actually make a tiny little USB dongle with a right angle to it that has a DC coaxial port. That's like the ham radio port that we use on our radios. Those are on Amazon right now. It's like $7 for one. I know I was telling you it's $6 for like six of these little up converters. So big money talk here. But with this right angle converter, you don't have to solder anything. You plug it into a USB-C PD cable and charger and you should be able to power your unit just as well that way too. Key thing to keep in mind, if your radio requires less than 12 volts, like in the case of my mountaintop or three band, this won't work for you. This is a 12 volt adapter. Now the games you will play with this is finding the right coaxial connector for you. That is going to depend on your radio, but in the case of the 705, which I bought one of these, I'll be using it on that. It is a 5.5 to 2.5 millimeter jack, and I will link in the description again to that Amazon page. This is an untested unit for me, so you're going in with this, hopefully if you have uh, power delivery type devices, or charging capabilities, this should work just fine for you, but uh, heads up. The reviews on Amazon are pretty good though, so hey. But it'll take the USB output voltage, which is about four and a half volts in a lot of cases, and step it up all the way up to like 24 volts, which is a lot considering this little device. But really, we only need to get it into or around 12 to 13.8 volts for it to run a radio like the 705, or a QRP type radio. You're not going to be putting any kind of large power out with this, but these also work really well for charging your handhelds when they're in the field, if you have like a DC connection. You can get these on Amazon. I think I got a pack of six and then, you know, some heat shrink tube, power pulse connectors, and a bit of wire. The idea though, is that I can take my USB battery bank. I have the ability now to not only charge my phone, cameras, my HT, and run the 705 with this. So what that looks like in practice is we take our USB plug. Of course, the principle of USB, it's never right the first time. It always three connections, right? And I just did that. I proved it live. And we plug it into our up converter here. And assuming you know you, you push the button to make sure the, the, the little device here is active, you plug this into something that draws DC and you'll get power out. So let me magically whisk you back to my tabletop in the ham shack and show you how I set this up for my mountain topper three band because yes, this is adjustable voltage output. So you can go lower for a QRP radio like a mountain topper or higher-ish for something like the 705. Now, interesting factoid, many radios run off of a 12 volt standard. So if you give it something like a bio NO battery, for instance, this is a six amp hour, 
this is going to give you like 13.8 around that in volts and then as it goes down it's going to dip on the south side of 13 into 12. For most radios, that's fine. They, they can take that, that voltage standard and you know, no problem. Now this is all great. It's a unified standard, really good on you. But the problem is some other radios, like this Mountain Topper 3 band, it has a 12 volt max pretty much on transmit. If you give it more than that, uh, actually even on receive, it's not gonna be very happy. So what do you do? Well, we can solve basically two birds with one stone here. And that's where this comes in. This is a up converter. We have a lead here that I've already stripped the wires on. The strip side or the line side is going to go to the positive. We're going to come in through the top here and solder our lines in place. Pretty simple. Then we'll put some kind of terminator on it. Likely we're going to use a power pole. Now we need to crimp on a power pole, just to make our lives a little bit easier. I barely did anything there, so we're gonna we're gonna solder the lead on. So the way I like to do this is. Just put the iron above it a little bit, wait for it to heat up, and then start feeding it in. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. All right. Pay attention to the leads here. They're going to go like this. Way hot. Ooh, that's hot. Give it a second. Let's blast these into position here. There's one. And there's two. All right, so now we have this little dongle. We'll apply some heat shrink here at the end here, but basically we need to now put voltage in and test the out. So let's get that set up. All right, so I got a simple voltage meter here on the Anderson power pole connector into the up converter and here is my battery bank so if i plug that in here light turns on we got 11665 volts if you can see that so i'm going to drop this down to about 10 or so That's about fine, just no, uh, just high, just south of 10 volts. All right, Harbor Freight heat gun gets the job done every time until it doesn't. So here we go. Let it sit to chill. So let's go ahead and anoint this. Oh, what the heck? Okay, never mind. Let's do a different pen. Ten volt. There you go. Yikes. Well, that's not perfect. But there you go. Simple adapter. Now let's uh, final test, final sell off here. Let's plug in our to the radio. Make sure our battery bank is on. And there we go, 9.9 .9 volts as written on the radio. So we are happy, happy. These little up converters are incredibly cheap. Like you can spend less than $10 and you can buy a, basically a bushel of these things. And then you can adjust them their heart's content. You wanna make a bunch of 12 volts? Go nuts, so you can do whatever you want. For me though, this 10 volt job is going to make it a bit easier for me to step away from these 3S LiPos, which I have no problem with. I just don't like charging them. 
I always have a battery bank on me though, which is why this is really a nice solution. If it's on, maybe, there we go, it's on. Now regarding battery bricks themselves, little USB battery devices here, I have three that are my primary use ones. This is the big one that I can charge my phone with a bunch of times and my batteries. This is the one that usually goes in my camera bag. I have a much smaller one, this is 10,000 milliamps. And then I have an even smaller one, this is that night core that you saw when I was in Utah. So of all of these, the two larger ones are very good at running these buck converters. This guy, though, seems to have, uh, he's a bit picky on which radio you plug into it. It will charge handhelds no problem, uh, but it seems to not like running the 705 very well when it's on. Now, that's another key point. These up converters that we're talking about have a two amp surge capability and a one amp sustained current that it can provide. For the mountain toppers and smaller QRP radios, think of this, you know, five and under watt type uh, QRP radios. These will work just fine for you. They will get warm and some, not the ones that I have linked to you, at least from my experience, get very noisy. That can happen with some of these devices. Because remember, this is a really simple circuit and we are like kicking up the voltage some, and so that can not introduce noise depending on the quality of the construction. If it were me though, I would go with Anchor. They're probably the most reliable of these devices that I've used, both for wall charging, all my computers and stuff when I'm on the go, and also power banks. The, all of these recommendations and my comments are unaffiliated. I'm just mentioning them because I've tried a lot of them out and uh, I've had the best luck with the RAV power and the Anchor. Anchor, Anchor. Now for something completely different, because since we're talking about battery banks, I might as well throw this out too. This is a Talent Cell Lithium Battery Pack, and this puts out a max of 12.6 of volts with a peak three amp max draw uh, continuous. It has a DC power jack and a USB port. These work great with QRP radios. You can run mountain toppers off of these, the Elecraft KX2s, 705s. They work really, really nice. These are also on Amazon. I believe they run off of 18650 batteries if I open this up. At least there are other reviews on YouTube that you can check it out. And there's a little switch on the top to tell you that it's on and there's some green indicator lights. Capacity is about three amp hours. Not bad for your small QRP radios. This will run most of them for quite a while. Considering the proliferation of things like USB battery banks and we sometimes want to travel a little lighter, maybe we're only bringing our HTs with us, then this is an attractive option of being able to charge your radio on the go off of a USB battery bank. So let me know your thoughts. I'll post links in the description for the battery bank, the up converters, some uh, associated stuff like the power pole connectors, and obviously, the most important thing for power poles, you know what it is? It's the crimper actually. Once you have the right crimper for these, they become a dream to make and you don't dread having to manually crimp and solder, although I still often solder these guys, particularly on the smaller wire wires. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. See ya.